what you talking about, Walt Diddy? Did you know that Jay-Z has released The Book of Clarence, which is a absolute spin that's gonna piss off the Christian delegation, a remix of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Wow, let's get right into it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This may have a few spoilers, but I don't think it's going to matter so much. What? From movies.com. How the Book of Clarence gives a brutal scene from the Bible New Renaissance. I said it all wrong. Getting into a little bit of this article, we're going to break down said movies and some of the characters. What is the Book of Clarence about? The Book of Clarence tells a different sort of Bible story with the characters turning false prophet into the time of Jesus to make a buck. So pretty much Clarence is not Jesus, but he's a spinoff just trying to make a buck. However, writer director James Samuel turns serious by the end of it. So pretty much James Samuels is going to turn serious at the end of the movie by reimagining the crucifixion and the resurrection of your Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Just a little bit about the movie, then we'll take a look at the characters and see who's in this flick. That in AD 33, the movie a black perspective on the biblical epic genre stars Lakeith Steinfeld as Clarence, a weed dealing Jerusalem man who sees the way people treat Jesus and his apostles and want the same respect. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I don't, if that makes you proud, Negro de delegation, shame on you. Let me read that again to make sure you got where I'm going with this. Set in uh, AD 33, 33. If you know your numbers, that was the age of Yahshua, and it's the age of the initiated that gets a little more enlightenment than us. Not really. But it was set in AD 33, the movie. A black perspective on the biblical epic genre stars Lakeith Steinfeld as Clarence, a weed dealing Jerusalem man who sees the way people treat Jesus and his apostles and wants the same respect. He proclaims himself the new Messiah, stages Jesus' miracles with his friend Elijah, and takes money from the public. Now, you see how they're playing on it right. Elijah is way before Jesus. Elijah is one of the prophets that's in the Old Testament. Yep, that's so what they're doing in this movie. They're taking New Testament characters, Old Testament characters, and just mixing it up, making a souffle of chiggery to kind of piss off probably the vanilla dele delegation. Hello. That's the only way we can look at it. But there's a still photo. We see Clarence right there. We see former X-Man himself right there playing Pontius Pilate. Huh? We'll get into the character breakdown in just a moment. Clarence begins to do some good, like freeing slaves. But he's arrested by Pontius Pilate, played by James McAvoy, who's after false messiahs like Jesus. That's a little bit. We're not going to spoil all the movie, but there's some steals right there. As you can see, taking a modern hairstyle, which may have been back then, we see a lot of darkies in the background. And believe it or not, well, not him, not him. Wow, there is a vanilla one. <laughs> the vanilla delegation is in the house. Oh my God, beautiful. Also, we're going to make a play here and I'll show you in this steal without giving you all the spoilers of the movies, just in case you're silly enough to go pay your money to go see this film. But there is a picture. They are reimagining John the Baptist, played by David Aluigue. Yeah, boy. And Clarence there is getting baptized. Take me to the water to be baptized. That is a, a Negro spiritual. Let's go a level deeper. There it is, the book of Clarence. That is the trailer for it. And there is the starring cast. Ah. We see Clarence is played by Lakeith Stanfield. Omar Sy is playing Barbarous. Anna Duop is playing Verena, whoever the hell that is. RJ Siler is going to play Elijah, which is a spin on the prophet Elijah. But what the hell, boy? Moving on down in the character list, we see David Iruleke is playing John the Baptist. We have Michael Ward playing Judas Iscariot. Vanilla Delegation, this ought to piss you off. We got Alfre Woodard playing Virgin Mary. Tiana Taylor is going to be playing Mary Magdalene. Tell Mary not to weep. Tell Martha not to moan. You got Caleb McHollin playing Dirty Zeke. Oh, he needs some milk. Then we have Marine Jean-Baptiste 
playing Amenia? I have no idea who the hell is Amenia. King James and the crew must have didn't know nothing about this chick. There is the starring cast. Also, we have Eric Kalofi playing Jedediah the Terrible. James McAvoy from X-Men fame and a lot of great movies, I would add, playing Pontius Pilate. So we have some star power in there. Did you know, Vanilla Delegation, that Benedict Cumberbatch, Mr. Doctor Strange is playing Benjamin. We got Chase Dillon playing a character named Cabbage. I don't give a <laughs> How Negro is that? A biblical story with a Negro, a young Negro named Cabbage. We got Nicholas Pinnock, who's also him and Benedict Cumberbatch has been on stream together many of the times in Doctor Strange and in the MCU. He's playing Jesus. Ooh. Let the preacher say, man. There it is, the book of Clarence. That is the artwork, which is some pretty cool artwork. I will give them that. But it was directed by James Samuel, written by James Samuel, produced by James Samuel. Jay-Z, James Lucifer, Tindo Nagunjinde, and I just gave you the stars of the movie. How much did we pay for said damn movie? Yep, gonna do a color purple. The budget for this movie was $14 million, which is not a huge budget for Hollywood, but guess what? Thus far, it's only made three million back. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's now, Out of 40 million, I can guarantee you 50% went for two actors, three actors, no, four actors. Benedict Cumberbatch, depending on how long he got, might have got 10 million. I'm not sure. James McAvoy, you're going to have to give him 5 to 10. That's 20. Um, the one that's playing John the Baptist, David Irulue, and the other Negro that was in Dr. Strain with him, they get your budget right there. Let me know what you think about said movie, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about the Book of Clarence. The Book of Clarence, where? They're going to spin it off, and you see right there, that scene right there should be Jesus and Pontius Pilate, but no, it's Clarence. Mr. Wee Dillon, Jerusalem man, is going to end up getting crucified, and he looked back and said, whoa, whoa, Jesus is getting money with his people. We're going to do the same thing. Do me a favor before I end this story. Remember two things. Number one, there's no way in hell this movie's going to make his money back. And number two, life is a movie, and Walt did just brought this back shit Negro story to you. Hope you enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen. That way.